Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to scan your Toyota Corolla from 2004 to 2008 model using OBD scan tools. So first of all, I am going to tell you how to scan it and then I will tell you how to troubleshoot if you are unable to connect your device to the ECU. So we need to understand the basic principles that we need a mobile phone in which we should be having a torque app installed and we need to use this adapter this is obd adapter and this adapter should be version 1.5 i repeat it should be version 1.5 i'm using quad v and there is this power on button and you can see that it is pretty good quality i do have some other obd tools as well but the other adapters they are not working for example this adapter elm327 uh, this is OBD version 2.0 so it does not communicate with the ECU and it doesn't work well so it is waste of money and similarly this blue cheap adapter it's also not getting connected to the Toyota Corolla so you need to keep in mind that you have to buy any OBD tool that is version 1.5 and it should be standard and it should be used with the Torque app so right now let's try to use this uh, with the door cap and let's see what happens so we need to connect this to the obd port and the obd port location is just on to the right hand side in our country but it can be on the left hand side depending upon the driver side so if you you are using the left hand drive so it would be on the left side but while if you are using right hand drive cars so it should be on the right hand side so here it is and you need to connect the tool to this OBD port so make sure that the port is clean and once you connect this see it is not turned on so you have to press the button power button to turn it on once this is turned on you need to uh, open your mobile phone connect it through the bluetooth and then you need to use your torque app to scan or start scanning now the next thing is that you need to turn on the ignition to this level or even you can start your car uh, so it would be better so this is the level when the con current is getting into the ECU now once you are done to this level the next thing is working with the torque app and setting the torque app so you can connect your OBD tool with the ECU and you can start scanning and you can find the trouble codes or you can clear the trouble codes it is not very difficult so let's try to move uh, to the next section so in the next session i'll be showing how to use the door cap okay here you can see i have turned on the bluetooth device and i'm showing you the conway is connected so let's try to open the door app and see how the door cap is working so over here you can use any version of door cap makes no difference so you can see and there is this error of the gps you can just turn on the gps so it will be gone and when the car sign is blinking as you can see on my screen this means that it is still not connected when the blinkingness of this car or this car becomes permanently blue that means that you know it is connected so here we see it is still trying to connect to the ecu if you want to look for the real time information you can click over there and it tells you that checking model and trying to use you know a different protocols to connect to the ecu and there is a trick now you see connected to the ECU it has con uh, successfully connected to the ECU and now because the car was turned off so we cannot see any RPM or anything like that so there are a lot of things that coolant temperatures and RPM and throttle pedal sensors and oxygen and whatsoever so the next thing is you can try to look for the scanning codes or fault codes which is very important if you click there it will start communicating with the ECU and then you can see that this is trying to scan it's a bit slow process because these cars are very old and these cars they are basically having a very slower version of the ECU so it might take some time to scan it thoroughly so what is the purpose of the scanning you can find the error codes you can clear them and you can get your car repaired your fuel uh, your fuel economy will get better and your performance will get better and you will you know enjoy your ride more 
so here you can see it's almost about 43 44 percent and soon it will tell us that it does not have any codes or no codes are stored in the ecu so it may take a while so it's about 60 to 70 percent and see so no fault codes on the ecu okay the next thing is you know you can also try to create a profile which works for it so right now i'm using my profile with my name and this is you know any profile that you can create even you can create a new profile all the settings they don't matter there is only one setting that is very important and that is when you go to the advanced setting you need to use a custom string okay you need to write the custom code for this and this is ad ib96 slash and over here it is written in a different way so i'll tell you in the next coming section what is the real code for that and you can just pause that video for that particular you know screenshot and you can you know write it down so right now this code is really very important without this code you will not be able to connect or communicate with your ecu and this is very important so once you paste this code and save this profile it will definitely get connected and once you click over there on the real time information it shows first connecting to the ecu or connecting to the convi and then it tries to use the protocols and then in a few seconds connected to ecu okay that is very important if this is connected you can read your codes or you can clear your fault codes and you can troubleshoot your car very easily it's not very difficult okay these are the codes you can please pause this video and you can write this in the end it is double zero it's not o i repeat it's double zero zero okay don't miss it it's double zero it's not o so you have to copy or you have to write all this code and copy it and paste it to the torque app advanced setting in order for the application to communicate with your ecu this code is working from for the toyota corolla 2004 till toyota corolla 2008 and without this code your obd adapter or the torque app will not be able to connect with your ecu now again we can see the torque app and we can see that the car is stable the car sign is stable and it is connected to the ecu already so there there is a setting or information that i want to show you that that helps you understand some basic principles or facts about your obd adapter and the status of your obd adapter which is very important for any person to know so how that is done let's go to the main screen and from the main screen i'll show you you have to slide the menu up this is the main screen and you need to rotate it to up and adapter status once you click adapter status here you will see that connection to the adapter and connection to the ecu and bluetooth connection everything so soon as soon as it gets connected to the ecu you will see that it is connected to the ecu yes it will say yes over there now the adapter error count if there is error in the connection that can be seen and there is also the version setting that you can see it has to be version 1.5 you can see version 1.5 this is very important below the adapter manufacturer there is adapter version that should be 1.5 so otherwise it will not work okay i have repeated this information various time in this video that the version adapter version should be version 1.5 before uh, uh, the, uh, any other version of this adapter is not going to work okay so you don't need to use or set gps if you are not concerned about the speed or if you are not concerned about measuring the average using this app because it it can vary from you know the roads and due to various other reasons so just forget about these settings and they are not necessary settings but if you want to you know i'm clicking on the adapter version to make it more visible for you guys so just try to use this string and uh, talk app can be downloaded very easily from the internet and you can use this app and the string to connect to the ecu in the next section i will be briefly discussing what are the possible uh, reasons why this you know uh, connection to the ecu is failed and what is the reason 
behind that so just in in maybe one minute i'm going to tell you how to troubleshoot your uh, bad connection or you know no connection with the ecu or if you are unable to connect to the ecu what can be the possible causes so let's try to jump to that section okay first of all we need to remove this obd tool from the obd port so please remember that you need to make sure that the obd port itself is clean all the pins are clean and all the connections are proper the wires are not loose everything is neat and fine and working uh, this is the first place to start with and once you are done with this section the next section is going to open the dashboard so once you are going to open this dashboard uh, this is the position of the ecu in in this model so let's try to see the dashboard over here you will see these fuses all of these fuses are very really important so one by one just open the just pull out the fuse one by one and plug it back again a fuse is just a connection okay so you have to check this and if any fuse is blown i don't remember you can see the manual maybe it is 16 number or 17 number but you have to replace the fuse with the right amperage and in my case i just tried one by one every fuse and it just you know helped me so the next problem okay, or the next reason why there is no connection to the ecu is from the outside so let's go to the outside and see what is the cause so over here just next to the battery you can see this compartment for the fuse and in this fuse compartment we can clearly see that there are some relays and there are some fuse so over here there are four fuse that you need to look for so please see clearly these are four fuse you have to check if any of the fuse is blown then still there will be no connection to the ecu and i hope that if you are going to follow my advice and if you have seen this video carefully you will get to know how to connect your obd tool with your toyota corolla 2004 to 2008 and you can easily troubleshoot if it's not connected that's all from my side if you have any questions and comments do let me know thank you very much